The Starship is finally launching again. Well, only if the FAA allows it to. Recent reports have hinted that SpaceX is preparing its massive rocket to take to the skies by the end of this month. However, the company must first seek out a launch license from the FAA. Today, let's talk about the Starship's seemingly imminent launch, why it concerns the FAA, and what SpaceX has done to overcome these obstacles. Since its inception, SpaceX has embarked on a remarkable journey to revolutionize the way we perceive and engage with the infinite universe. When the company was initially established, there was a significant amount of doubt surrounding it. Both skeptics and experienced individuals in the industry questioned whether SpaceX could truly succeed and endure in the long run. The volume of doubt grew louder when SpaceX introduced its groundbreaking Falcon family of rockets. To many observers, these endeavors appeared excessively ambitious, perhaps even unattainable. The introduction of the Starship concept intensified this skepticism. Critics dismissed it as a mere fantasy, convinced that it would never materialize beyond the realm of imagination. Repeatedly, SpaceX has defied its critics by consistently achieving what they deemed improbable. The Starship's successful launch on April 20th not only silenced doubters, but also cemented the company's expanding influence in space exploration. And now, as the world anticipates the upcoming second test flight, Elon Musk's recent assertion of a 60% likelihood for the Starship to reach orbit further fuels the growing enthusiasm. Recent actions by SpaceX, such as notifying the US Coast Guard about imminent rocket launch activities off the coast of Brownsville, Texas, indicate that the highly anticipated launch is imminent. Standing at an impressive height of 120 meters, the Starship looms over many of its predecessors. With a diameter of approximately 9 meters, its sheer size made a bold proclamation in the field of aerospace engineering. In terms of thrust capacity, the Starship, when combined with the Super Heavy Booster, possesses an unparalleled force that surpasses rockets that once claimed to be the most powerful. Notably, this force outclasses even the Saturn V, which was employed during the Apollo missions, and was once considered the pinnacle of rocket power. In contrast to the disposable rockets from earlier eras, the Starship and its Super Heavy Booster are meticulously crafted for multiple journeys. The capacity to undertake missions repeatedly without necessitating the construction of an entirely new rocket for each launch signifies a remarkable advancement in both aerospace engineering and environmental sustainability. The common assumption is that launching a rocket into space revolves solely around the challenges of science and engineering. However, the reality is more complicated, comprising a twofold challenge. Overcoming the intricate technical aspects of space travel is coupled with navigating the complex network of regulations and approvals. This delicate equilibrium between ambition and safety becomes evident when observing the dynamic relationship between SpaceX and the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. The roots of their disagreements can be traced back to incidents such as the third launch of Falcon 1 in 2008, during which delays in obtaining licenses from the FAA posed substantial difficulties for SpaceX. However, tensions between the two reached an entirely new magnitude on April 20th, 2023. On this date, the Starship's test launch resulted in a catastrophic explosion that not only caused damage to the nearby vicinity, but also inflicted substantial harm upon the launch facility situated at Boca Chica Beach. In addition to the physical devastation caused by the explosion, this incident heightened the level of scrutiny that SpaceX was subjected to, both from the FAA and the general public. Many individuals harbored concerns regarding if SpaceX could adhere to Elon Musk's projected schedule for the subsequent launch. Compounding the situation, SpaceX did not provide the reports from the initial launch test until very recently, which further contributed to the prevailing sense of uncertainty. However, in accordance with the saying, better late than never, SpaceX has ultimately submitted the requisite reports. Consequently, there is a noticeable sense of eagerness and excitement in the air. Should all go smoothly and the FAA bestows the necessary license, there is a distinct possibility that we could bear witness to the subsequent launch by the end of August. However, the acquisition of the license depends on several factors. The aftermath of the April flight underscored the necessity for substantial enhancements. One such upgrade pertains to the hot staging ring, a pivotal element in ensuring the smooth progression between rocket stages. Notably, this component has undergone recent improvements. Newly released images from SpaceX vividly portray this upgraded hot staging ring, meticulously integrated onto a super heavy booster. This advancement represents a crucial accomplishment as the Starship readies itself for its upcoming and audacious flight. During the initial test, rocket enthusiasts were treated to an extraordinary spectacle, the sight of numerous engines igniting simultaneously on a single rocket, this captivating visual, rarely observed in real time for a considerable span, left a lasting impression. The Super Heavy Booster, distinguished by its distinctive rings of engines, has evolved into an iconic symbol embodying SpaceX's ambitious vision for the future. Arguably one of the most breathtaking sights from the April test was the endeavor to detach the first and second stages of the rocket. This colossal structure, standing at almost 400 feet in height, performed a sequence of mid-air acrobatics before ultimately succumbing to self-destruct directives. 
Curiously, the self-destruct system, devised to rapidly neutralize the vast stainless steel rocket during critical situations, has emerged as a central topic of examination in the aftermath of the test. SpaceX's focus hasn't been confined solely to the rocket itself. Rather, they've extended their efforts to include a water deluge system positioned underneath the orbital launch mount. Crafted from fortified steel, this system showcases clever ingenuity by releasing substantial volumes of water upward. This strategic design serves as a shield against the formidable pressures encountered during launch. Elon Musk has likened this mechanism to an inverted showerhead, a fitting analogy that aptly encapsulates its purpose. Moreover, keen observers have taken note of the incorporation of a heat shield atop the rocket booster, strategically preparing the Starship for the pivotal hot staging process. Each element, from Ship 25 to Booster 9 and the orbital launch mount, has undergone meticulous testing and refinement. It's now widely acknowledged within the space community that SpaceX has deliberately chosen Booster 9 and Ship 25 for Starship's second launch endeavor. These selections were not arbitrary. Rather, they were made with precision and purpose. Booster 9 has earned acclaim for its resilient engine performance, ensuring optimal thrust and stability during the critical liftoff and stage separation moments. Conversely, Ship 25 boasts advanced thermal protection systems and enhanced structural integrity, rendering it well-equipped to withstand the challenging conditions of space. It's important to highlight that both the Starship and its accompanying Super Heavy booster encapsulate the broader vision SpaceX holds for interplanetary colonization. Amidst these remarkable engineering accomplishments, there exists a sense of uncertainty. The FAA's process of reviewing and approving reports holds immense significance for SpaceX's upcoming endeavors. Regrettably, the timeline for this crucial step remains undefined. Adding complexity to the situation is the functioning of the rocket's self-destruct system. During the incident in April, this safety mechanism took more time than anticipated to render the errant vehicle inert. Ensuring the effectiveness of this safety measure is of paramount importance, as SpaceX cannot afford any repetition of such delays in forthcoming flights. SpaceX's journey, as always, is brimming with challenges. From addressing the conclusions of the mishap report to countering legal actions seeking to revoke their five-year launch license, the path forward is not without hurdles. However, history has shown that Elon Musk's SpaceX has thrived amidst adversity. While aiming for August 31st might appear ambitious, there's no denying that SpaceX is closer than ever to its upcoming launch. The rate of progress at SpaceX's Starbase cannot be overlooked. As we approach the conclusion of 2023, all indicators point toward the imminent launch of Starship, serving as a symbol of humanity's limitless ambitions on the horizon. What do you think? Has SpaceX done enough to justify another launch or are they rushing toward another explosive disaster? Please let us know in the comments below.